Hey guys, welcome back to another regularly scheduled upload. Yeah, I haven't done something in a minute, but I figured when I did come back today, I'd be doing something real special that I haven't seen another person do, and that is the Salmon of Knowledge. Now, the Salmon of Knowledge is a tier 5 pet which gives experience to the front two pets on both teams. Now, with any pet that gives things on both teams, like the Armadillo, or the Microbe, or the Kraken, it's all about preparing better. Uh, in this case, uh, how Salmon of Knowledge is typically used is with level up synergy, with things like the Team Spirit or the Cyclops in Unicorn Pack, which is where it's meant to be used, or uh, out of this you'll see a lot of Clownfish or even Jellyfish, things that benefit from level ups. I took this in a different direction, which we'll talk about later. First, I want to talk about our run. We leveled up into a Hatching Chick. Now, Hatching Chick is one of those fun units that has uh, different abilities as it levels up, rather than just a different increment on them. And that'll become valuable later. I'm not sure why I'm saving this uh, Fountain of Youth. I'm going to get rid of it later. I think it was so if I killed the spider, I could change it into a level 2 uh, tier 3 of my choosing, but to be honest, I, I didn't have a pill yet, and that's a lot of investment for a, you know, a small chance. And we don't need a small chance, because obviously I'm showing you this, it's the lucky run. I've already got a skunk, and I've got a level 2 hatching chick, which will uh, not remain level 2 for long. There's my, uh, my fifth needed hatching chick for this. If you're counting each one in the experience, I mean, technically it's my second that I found, but you know what I mean. So I've got a skunk here. Skunk is going to stick around for the end of this build. Uh, you'll see why uh, later. And another hatching chick. That is a level 3 hatching chick on turn 6. So you know it's destined for greatness. And uh, next here we're going to be leveling up in search of that t tier 5. The salmon of knowledge is what we are after. And it doesn't look like we can win this one. However, we actually draw it. Um, our stats just from leveling up and getting kind of the things we want are pretty decent, I'd say. And there's our Salmon of Knowledge. So now, my priorities are to have two units that function well with level ups at the front. Because at the moment, it's kind of even. Uh, you can see here, I level up their fish, so they get another, a plus four, plus four. I think we get the better deal out of that. We get an extra ant, which is an extra plus three, plus three, plus two melons. Uh, and with that, we can win by one barely. Um, but yeah, you either run better tempo at the front, and this is meant to be a tempo build. That's meant to win early. It's not meant to, w meant to uh, really carry into late. Although, it's one of those special tempo builds where you need a tier 6 in order to win with it, uh, which we'll get to that probably really soon. I can't remember if I get it on a level up or not, but you need a tier 6 in order to make it function. So it's one of those hard builds that you definitely shouldn't go for just because it's such a small window of time in which it's really valuable, you know? But yeah, so I'll tell you now what we're going for. We are going for a Mantis Shrimp. Now, the Mantis Shrimp is a unit which snipes the front enemy on the enemy team at the start of battle for 10 damage, working one, two, or three times. Getting that high level really fast can do a lot, especially if you have two of them essentially at level three, you know, at the start of uh, tier six. That's going to plow through stuff, especially, especially if you have things like the Stinky Sock from the Stingray I just picked up, or you have a Skunk at level three that you got from a Hatching Chick. All those things are really going to be valuable. And still no Mantis Shrimp, so we are actually going to have to wait till turn 11, but this could happen as early as turn nine. You could have a level two or even level three Mantis Shrimp with a Parrot behind it, Absolutely, I mean, that's 60 damage at the start of battle, uh, you know, plus this skunk. That's why it's a tempo play. I mean, that's pretty good damage even late game. And you can see here, I've got the parrot of the match shrimp now. Um, and I'll talk here about a second about the attack order on this, because it's a bit weird. But uh, with all those, we are ready to uh, 
start destroying our competition. As you can see there, uh, that's their whole team gone, essentially. And even with our team pretty much entirely gone, we're still doing quite well. The little bit we're, amount we're investing in stats is mostly so that we can get the attack order right. So the skunk, we want to go off before these guys. And the uh, salmon of knowledge, we want to go off before those guys. The issue is, if the salmon of knowledge goes off first and boosts the attack of the mantis shrimp or the parrot too high, I'm going to slow this down so you can see how the full build works now that it's completed. But if it boosts their attack too high, like just happened there, they will go off before the skunk, uh, which invalidates the value of the skunk. Now, luckily, the skunk is going to be higher attack than the parrot after receiving all those stats. Uh, so the skunk will go off after the parrot, which isn't the best it could be, but it's it's still pretty fine. What I should have done is been putting all these stats into the skunk at this point, just so that the first, like, I, I would have... Well, okay, I'll be honest, I don't think I was clearing that team even if my attack order was right. It is a tempo team, and if you've got people who have invested well in their defenses, you're gonna... you're gonna lose. Um, I hear I'm doing a lot of searching for another Stingray, I want more Stinky Sog, I really want to lower the health here. In this case, it's just not necessary. I don't even think that was all six, all six snipes, I'm not sure. But, uh, this would have been a completely insurmountable team, uh, especially with my level ups, had I not eliminated them. And, and that's the trick of this, is to remove the level ups, or remove the value that the enemy team gets from, uh, the Salmon of Knowledge so you can play it as tempo and not worry about, you know, anything else. And here, the skunk going off for the parrot will save us, and we get our win. And yeah, that was actually my Salmon of Knowledge badge. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.